So bass, softball, cold water baseball will play for state championship Saturday. Another local team will as well. Both Crestview and Tenor making a return trip to the state baseball tournament in Division 4 as both fell in the semifinals last season. The Rams offense has been impressive, scoring 26 runs in just 10 innings in their regional wins over Toledo Christian and Patrick Henry at PH. Well, the Knights starting pitcher Damian Helm has a 1.03 earned run average, a 7-1 record. Same as Tenor's starter. Clay Pittman, whose ERA is even a, even lower, 0.16. Wow, that is low. So Huntington Park, the stage for this one. Top one, Crestview with a man on second, two away. Nate Owens at the plate, lines it to right center. That's a base hit in the first state tournament game of the year at Huntington Park. Jordan Root makes it one to nothing nights for the football standout. Bottom two, Brevin Renelet on first for the Rams. Takes off for second throw by Nate Owens. Look at the tag by Brock Ralston. Could be a top five play tomorrow. Bottom three now. Runners in second and third. Derek Dravis. Fly ball to left. Jordan Miller makes the play. Here comes EJ Kissel tagging from third. And he is in there safely. We are tied at one. Top of the fourth now. The Knights answer back man on third for Bryce Richardson. Single to left, Isaiah Zimmerman comes in to score easily. Knights back in front, two to one. Top six, same score after a Zimmerman triple. It's Richardson at the plate again. Pitch gets away. Zimmerman races home. It's three to one, Crestview. We head to the sixth. Bottom half of the inning, Rams runners at second and third, Dakota Stark. It's a fly ball. This one goes to right field. Justin Overmeyer settles under it, gets the out. Here comes Clay Pittman tagging from third. And he is safely in there, the lead down to one for Crestview. Two outs now, Dravis at third, he takes off on the 3-0 pitch, steals home, we're tied at three. Bottom seven, still tied, bases loaded for Tenora, two away, Logan Dickerson on third base. We saw a steal of home to tie it, and we're gonna see a steal of home once again. Dickerson wins it as the ball pops loose. Tenora wins 4-3 in dramatic fashion using steals of home to score those decisive runs. It was amazing because it worked out twice for us. Um, and we're all just, we're blessed. It's a great achievement for us and hopefully we can go get one more. I mean, uh, that's part of our practice. Uh, we do it about uh, once every two weeks. Um, you know, we try to get a good jump. He went a little early the last time, but uh, uh, fortunately, uh, God was looking out for us and it worked out for us. It feels fantastic. We, we're excited. We're definitely thrilled. It's what we've been looking for the past four years. I mean, this is what we've been looking forward to all year. I, I can't explain it. It's just it's su such a relief. Now we're going to go into the next game. We have confidence now, so we just have one more game. Feels awesome. I mean, it got uh, a big monkey off our back, so uh, I think we'll be a little more relaxed on Saturday. What a celebration. Tenora Newark Catholic will go for the title Saturday at 10 a.m. Highlights from Columbus.